What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another World of Warcraft video for The War Within, and today we are talking about making gold with concentration, and making more gold than you're probably doing right now, by just doing your regular craft. And the way we are doing this is by buying certain recipes on the auction house, and then crafting those instead of the recipes that are taught to you by the trainer. Now, there are a couple of um, very easy examples here of what to make. Now, I have started making something called the Storm Rider there's agility for the chest enchant which is this one right here and i'm gonna buy a couple of them right now because i have to restock anyways we're gonna buy one we're gonna buy two and we're gonna buy three for the current price right here which is under seventeen thousand, so fifteen thousand, saving us some gold on that recipe and you kind of want to try to get as many different recipes as possible not on the same character but on your profession characters for concentration and the reason for that is that these recipes recipes will add another barrier to entry. When it comes to crafting and making gold and making profit, it's all about having barriers to entry. The easier a market is to tap into, the less gold you will make from it. It's a simple supply versus demand kind of metric here, and any barriers to entry to what you are doing adds another layer that will, well, make the supply go down because not everyone will go through that barrier. Meanwhile, if you do, you will make Make a little bit more gold. Now in this case you can see that I'm on a level 10 character and that is because I wanted to get this uh, specific recipe as cheap as possible so I went on to undermine.exchange to find the cheapest server and I made a level 1 or level level 10 in this case like a void elf character on that server went to the auction house takes like one minute and I used the gold from the warband bank to then buy this recipe on the cheapest server. So if this recipe for example is currently selling for let's just put a number out there of 30,000 on the US server don't buy the recipe go to undermine.exchange and find that the, the, either the server or a couple of servers where they are selling for cheaper and make a level 10 character like make a void elf if you play horde you can make a vulpera and they spawn really close to orgrimmar as well so vulpera on the horde void elf on the alliance any of those really they have really close access to the auction house and if you have the brutosaur mount you're good either way so instead of just buying these recipes use the undermine.exchange and find the servers where these recipes are actually selling for cheap. Now, in this case, we have talked about the Storm Riders Agility Chest Enchant, which if you have spec yourself into Chest Enchants like I did, the Crystalline Radiance profitability has gone down by quite a bit, and I kind of want to showcase how good this Storm Riders Agility Enchant specifically is, but the thing is, when I made this video, and more people start doing the Agility Enchant, that one might also go down in profit, or the formula might go up in price, so keep that in mind, and and maybe think outside the box here and buy some other recipes on the auction house. The point is you will usually make more gold from buying recipes and crafting those items instead of crafting what is taught to you by the trainer or what you get taught to you by spending knowledge points. Basically, having more barriers to entry just gives you more profit margins as well. Now, in this case, we can compare, for example, the Storm Riders Agility to Crystalline Radiance. And as you can see here, the only difference in crafting cost is that crystalline radiance requires 20 crystalline powder which is one gold each meanwhile the storm Riders agility is 10 powder and five bottle storm so technically storm riders agility is about 10 gold cheaper to craft than crystalline radiance so it's cheaper to craft keep that in mind now in this case crystalline radiance is selling for i think it's under 7000 right now i completely butchered that crystalline radiance this one is selling for 6,500 on quality 3. Now I'm mainly talking about spending uh, concentration here and making gold from concentration spending. So 6,600 gold is what we are going to go with. And then we have Storm Riders Agility, which once again is actually cheaper to make. It is selling for about 2,000 gold more. 
And once again, it's cheaper to make. So it's cheaper to make, sells for 2,000 gold more. And as I showed you guys, at the moment, the recipe is 18,000 gold on this server. This is Kasaki, by the way, a really high pop server. But on the other one that I just went to, I bought a couple of them for 14,000 gold. So I saved myself about 4,000 gold on this recipe, which is about 30% saving or something like that, like pretty good savings. So finding a server where they're cheaper usually saves you a lot of gold. Now, once again, this recipe costs you 18,000 gold and you get 2,000 gold more every time you spend concentration. Now, for me, when I max this out without proccing ingenuity or anything like that, we can get down to about 200 concentration, 226. So I can do four of them every single time, which means four times a four times four, or yeah, four. 4 crafts times 2,000, so 8,000 gold. I make 8,000 gold more every single time that I spend my concentration, which we can do twice per week. So after doing one week of this, we have made the gold back from buying that recipe. Because once again, the recipe was 14,000 gold for me, and if we make 8,000 gold every single time we spend our concentration in like one huge burst, then that's 8,000 gold multiplied by 2 per week, so 16,000 gold per week more than just doing the regular crystalline radiance enchant. Now that is only for the chest enchants by the way and there are really good options for weapon enchants as well. So for example I mean first of all we have the fiery resolve enchant for weapon enchants which you compare, can compare to for example I mean we have the uh, the big enchant which I can't remember the name of right now the radiant power. So this one is really expensive I mean 600,000 gold it's pretty Pretty much not what I would go for at the moment, unless you find a really cheap formula somewhere. Like I'm talking about 200k or less, then I would probably go for it. But unless you can find a really cheap one, like 600,000 gold is a little bit outside of my scope. But the Authority of the Depths enchant is actually not bad. So Authority of the Depths right now is selling for also 12,000 gold, and it's about the same to craft, like 75 storm dust, 10 gleaming shards, 2 refulgent crystals, 1 vial of Kaheti oil, and 5 rhythming samples. So it's very similar to the Radiant Power for example, and also to the authority of fiery resolve and fiery resolve like they cost about the same to make and this one sells for 12.8 meanwhile fiery resolve sells for 8.6 so 4000 gold difference in that enchant by itself now as you can see the formula was about 140000 gold right now but i'm going to be honest i have bought 3 of them so far and i might only be making about 15 20000 gold extra every single time that I spend concentration, but in about two or three weeks, I get that gold back, and then you just start printing. Now, in case that's not uh, like, in case you don't want to spend the gold on the auction house to buy recipes for your profession to increase the profit margins, you can also spend your leftover acuity. Like, if you have already gotten your blue tools and your blue accessories, you can spend your acuity to increase your increase your profit even further by, for example, buying the cavalry's march. E even though it's only a movement speed, but this one is 150 acuity, for example, from Lirendal in Dornogal. Then you have scouts march, basically the same and you have a couple of other ones as well that you can buy this one for example the chant of armored avoidance and i'm just gonna say saying both the armored avoidance leech and speed they're really really good like you wouldn't think they were really good but they are pretty good and this one for example it costs you 150 acuity and 1500 cash and you can buy it in the city of threads and this one the armored leech is the same thing and the armored speed you just learn from the regular thing so uh now, if we look at, for example, Armored Speed, Armored Leech, and Armored Avoidance, they all cost the exact same to make. One of them you learn from just putting in the spend the talent points, or the knowledge points, and two of them you have to buy for acuity and cash from a trainer. And if we take a look at, for example, Armored Speed first, this one is selling for... 
5,800 gold. If we take a look at armored speed instead, so this one is 5.8 for quality 3. Once again, only focusing on quality 3 here to focus on the concentration aspect. So 5.8. This one, Armored Speed, is also, uh, this is just, that's the same one that I just talked about, but Armored Leech, Armored Leech is 7.3, that is about 1,500 gold extra from that recipe, even though they cost the exact same to make. And then you have Armored Avoidance, which I'm guessing is about the same, so once again about 7.3, so you make about 1,500 gold extra for every single enchant that you make with concentration, just by spending a little bit extra and getting in those uh, not commonly obtained recipes. Now I've heard a lot of complaints about the profitability behind concentration going down a lot recently, and this is kind of why at this point we have to go out of our way and jump over more hurdles, and basically put more barriers to entry into the gold making scenario. So buying these recipes either from the ocean house or spending your acuity, once again it's another barrier to entry, and it's another way to get more profit. You just have to either spend the gold or spend acuity to get those items. Now, we have a couple of ways to get more acuity points at this point, so if you are lacking some acuity to get these recipes, well, you are just like 30 minutes away from getting enough acuity to buy at least one recipe. If you have enchanting, for example, and let's say you have alchemy, you could possibly drop alchemy and then pick it back up later, but drop alchemy, pick up herbalism, pick up mining, pick up skinning, use those knowledge point catch-up systems and get a bunch of acuity, buy some recipes for enchanting, and pick up alchemy once again, just skill it up again. It might be a gold sink, but I do think overall, getting those recipes right now and making items or enchants that require certain recipes is the way to go, both at the moment and long term for the entire expansion. So I kind of just wanted to make a video on that to help people out on how to spend their concentration. I have swapped a lot of my characters on the Crystalline Radiance part for example. All of my chest enchanters, they are basically doing Storm Riders Agility now instead of Crystalline Radiance because we just make so much more gold. And the same thing goes for all of my chant characters, instead of making the chant of armored speed, I have I'm going to buy the recipe to make armored leech instead, because 150 acuity is very easy to obtain, and the cash I have way too much of anyway. Either way, that's the video, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, and let me know how you are making gold in the comments. If you want to know more about gold making as well, check out my gold making guide for the War Within, which is linked down below in the pinned comment. Either way, that's pretty much what I have for you, so thank you once again, and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye bye now.